Hello everyone! Today we're going to be getting ourselves a new pet. Because the one Marnie was offering just wasn't quite good enough, and she fed it to Pam. Now he may not be as smart as a cat or a dog, but he makes up for it with the entertainment factor. Good morning, dummy! Would you prefer wet or dry food? The air is starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. See what I mean? He's quite simple. Now, if you ever want good gifts for Alex, give him either a complete breakfast or a salmon dinner. Both of these should be good for the brain, so imagine what would happen if he didn't eat these every day. Realistically, I should just leave a trail of these all the way to my farm, and then I could just trap them there. Wheels, there's something deeply wrong with your grandchild. Alright, this is gonna be fun. I should get him a dog bed for the floor. And if he hears a strange noise, like someone knocking over a garbage can, he scurries into the nearest house and hides. Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? Then why are you inside, you idiot? I'd ask you to throw the ball around, but you don't really seem like the sports type. Oh, I'm fine just watching you from a distance. Yeah, some people just aren't made for sports. The great irony of that statement. Which team do you play for again? I'll wait. Since everyone's got boring zero heart dialogue, we bumped it up to two. Good morning, stupid. If you want to make friends with my grandpa, you can't go wrong with fried mushroom. It would make a great gift. Wheels is no concern of mine. They let you run an entire ice cream stand? To be fair, my horse does the exact same job, and just as well. Maybe you should have just married the horse. Hey, you must be getting pretty strong working in that farm all day. You must be getting pretty dumb staring at ice cream all day. Maybe you'll reach my level someday. Something to look forward to, huh? I literally could think of nothing I want less. Why do you have that look on your face? He's not real good with social cues either. Well, here's your gift for the day. Now if you're wondering what day it is that's good to give Alex a gift on, the 13th of summer is his birthday. But you can probably give him one any day because I doubt he actually knows that. You remembered my birthday? I'm impressed. I'm impressed that you remembered your birthday. Hmm, this is not good weather for sports. If you can't handle doing sports on every rainy day, you're not going to get a lot of practice. Oh well, I can always lift weights inside. As you stand in the hallway, throwing a ball up and down. Let's take a deeper look at Alex. Let's do a heart event. He sighs as he stares at the books he just can't read. Imagine if he put any effort at all into learning. The things he could do. Oh, hi DF. Hi dummy. Anything I can assist with? Teaching you the alphabet? Counting? Anything at all? Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. Well, the only way to learn is just start. But you can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. He's finally accepting it. That's okay, you can come live on my farm. I'll pay you peanuts to do lots of work. I'm worthless. That's crazy. You're a genius. You're the smartest guy in town. I mean, you don't see Dr. Boring running the ice cream stand. Why do you think that is? No, I'm not. You're just trying to flatter me. I'll give you cake. Well, I'm not going to give up. Good. Continue to embarrass yourself for my pleasure. If I work hard, I can do anything. Except read a book, apparently. And that is actually the first step in a lot of further steps. Hey, maybe one day we'll have dinner and discuss philosophy. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? No. No, it is not. I find that pretty hilarious, though. As I always do. Alex is simply here for my amusement. Oh wow, your shoes are a little dirty, but that's fine too. Well, your brain's a little foggy. Different people have different tastes, I guess. If I spent much time worrying about my shoes, I'd be a failed athlete riding an ice cream stand. Things are moving along nicely. Today we're going to get to see some 8-heart dialogue and possibly the 8-heart event. The trees on my farm are growing nicely. Oh wait, here's another heart event. That's a good bye, Dusty. Him and the dog are talking about philosophy. We're going to skip this one. Heart events on the beach are the best heart events. I've always said that. Haley's is beautiful. Alex is pretty good too. He's gonna get sand in his shoes. I don't think he realizes that. That seems to be a big deal to him. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, it's DF, right? Yes, we're practically dating. I brought you a present every day for the past year, but don't worry about that. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm surprised he can even spell that. I'm just enjoying this great weather. Good. Good. I think we're past small talk by this point. Hmm? Oh, he might actually be talking to his ball at this point. I'm not really sure. Hey, go long. Don't tell me what to do. Am I actually going for it? Alright, I guess I am. And he assaulted me. You all saw it. Heh, nice try. He only says that because he hears it so often. It's all about the effort that counts. Nice try. Swing and a miss. I'm going to be the first professional gridball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. There's also no thought in your mind. I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. You just wait. 
Oh, I'll be waiting. In fact, I waited over a hundred years before and you still didn't do it. I believe in you. Let's encourage him. That way when his dreams get shattered, it hurts all that much more. Thanks, DF. I'll remember that. No, you won't. You can't even remember my name. All right, back to back. Sniff. He's crying on the beach. Guess things didn't work out for him after all. Maybe he got fired from the ice cream stand. To be fair, it was a little above his capabilities. Oh, DF, you saw me crying. No, I'm seeing you crying. I've been watching for a while, just enjoying the tears. It was today, 12 years ago, that my mom died. Pretty sure I've seen this heart event on a different day, but okay. Give me the guilt trip, that's fine. I still remember her well. She'd make salted radish sandwiches for lunch and toss a grid ball with me in the backyard. Those sandwiches don't sound very good, to be honest. She took good care of me, and I was too young to really say thanks. Now she's gone forever. Yeah, she is. This is the only keepsake I have left, her secret music box. Uh, you probably don't want to play with that on the beach near the sand, my friend. That seems like a bad combination. You're really going to be upset when you drop it in the water. And one of the many ghosts that appears throughout Stardew Valley. That is presumably baby Alex with the big A on his thing. I'm sure the rest of that was all very touching, but we only have so much time before I got to move him onto my farm, so... Okay, bye. How many hard events does this idiot have? Anytime I do anything, I get thrown into one. Oh hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Uh, this is the first day I've ever seen you do it and I've been here every day. Such a liar. Do you know what the 16th of summer is? Clinic day, where they try and figure out if Alex has a brain or not. Though we can pretty much assume that he does not. Could also just be a physical for him making the sports team, but we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, Doc. Just tape it up, okay? Really hope you're referring to your mouth. Doctor? Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. Kind of sick of seeing both of you. Goodbye. Okay, wait, before I leave, we need to take this to the next level. Uh, pretty romantic setting. This'll work. You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. I seriously want you to come and take care of my crops for me. Ten heart dialogue, anyone? What has he got to say? If my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I swear I'd shave it all off in a second. Alex, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. No one even knows you exist. Sigh, life can be tough. You're telling me I've got to run around and accommodate you this whole video. And in what's the biggest surprise of the video, Alex can write. Presumably. He might have had someone else do this for him, now that I think about it. Meet me at the saloon tonight, after dark. Alex. He says after dark, because he doesn't know what time it's supposed to be, because he can't tell the time. He only knows light and dark. At least, I think he does. He could be entirely wrong, but let's give it a try anyway. Yep, I think he got it right. Private room. Fancy. Not bad for a guy who couldn't make the team. Gus is actually serenading us right now, but I don't have the sound volume on. It's probably better this way. Sorry, Gus, but there's a reason you're a bartender. Thanks, Gus. That was great. That means a lot coming from Alex, the top-notch music critic. Uh, Gus, you want to go ahead and close the door on your way out? Thanks. This is nice. I've never dined in here before. That's because it's Gus's kitchen. But hey, whatever, that doesn't matter. I like how Gus is just down here at the corner. Watching. Waiting. Um, anyways, I reserved this private room so we could talk. Yeah, I figured as much. Emily too. I like where this is going. I'm gonna get a two for one deal. I've got a linguine with mushroom cream sauce for Mr. DF. Uh, I'm allergic to everything. And a grilled steak for Alex. Uh, where's my steak? Thanks. Wonderful. I didn't order any of this, but cool. That's fine. Alex did his best, I guess. That's all he can ever do. Which definitely isn't enough. So what I wanted to say was... Gulp? He wanted to say gulp. Well, when we first met, I was instantly drawn to you. It was confusing. I never felt that way about anyone. That's because I cranked your heart meter way up. I kept telling myself, you can't have these kinds of feelings for another guy. But you did. I'm irresistible. It was the hair. It really was. But my heart was telling me something else. Yeah, I always suspected you were the kind of guy that thinks with your heart. Because your brain certainly isn't doing it. I'm sorry, I don't feel that way about you. I need a pet, not a lover. Oh, well that's crushing and embarrassing. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. Not really. I'm just happy that you're so uncomfortable. I'm not hungry anymore. All oh, right, I get a steak out of the deal. And after that soul-crushing experience for Alex, he stole the 10 hearts because I always get what I want in this world. Well, hey, look who it is. How are you recovering from that soul-crushing event we just went through? He just blushes. He has nothing to say. Well, before you run away again, let's get married. I accept. And he's still blushing. Okay, three days. You know the drill. 
Well, he managed to find his way here, so that's looking positive. Now that I think about it, I forgot to build him a pen on the farm. So he's going to have to be a free range Alex for a little bit. Hmm, you know what? I kind of wanted him to be an outside pet because it's less mess that way, but as long as he stays on the towel floor, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Of course he's going to need a water bowl. How else is he going to survive? I'm still getting used to cooking and doing laundry. It's not exactly my favorite, but I knew what I was getting into when I married you. That's the first thing he's done right this entire video. Alright, good luck with your new cage.